Hi, YouTube. I hope you're doing good. I could be a little bit better. I got kept up really late to the point where I um, felt like faint. I didn't think I was going to be able to eat, but I did eat something and then I took a shower and got some rest, but way later than I wanted to. And so my day was thrown off, but I did get my like housework done, that type of stuff today, but not my exercises. And I don't think I'm going to do them because my stomach still feels pretty bad. I still feel kind of like weak, like flu like, but I'm sure that's not what it is. You know, it's just, um, exhaustion. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but yeah, I thought I, well, I'll get on here and say hello. I have a, um, Super Day 44 live stream I was listening to and it's been buffering because we have a uh, rain coming in tonight so the cloudy weather always affects my satellite dish so it makes it a little hard on um, trying to listen to people's live streams sometimes and interact and I'm a moderator over there and he asked me a question and it's was buffering and I was trying to type and I did get the answer in there. The question he asked is if we knew who was behind trying to stop us from using gas stoves and gas furnace and gas whatever and I wrote well the CCP via the World Economic Forum you know so I mean it's actually um Satan versus God, but, <laughs> you know, boiling it down to what we can prove, <laughs> the people that are doing it to us. And from what I understand, uh, Alexandria Casia cortez said that, uh, well, what it, how, I, I didn't read it, so I, I'm just repeating what I heard that, um, uh, gas stoves cause health problems and oh brain damage that's what she said she said they they cause brain damage and i was thinking oh, yeah she's been sniffing methane for sure in the white house you know so yeah but yeah just being just being flippant because you know, it's all a show. It's not the Republicans or the Democrats. It's they're all together, just like uh, the governor of Florida, Ron DeSantis, is um, pretending like he's against us for the time being. He was just over in Israel a few months ago signing papers into law concerning American United States citizens with Israel. Israel's not a part of the United States and our public representatives have no business over there. Also, people in Pakistan are dying of hunger right now. Right next door is Israel getting money from us so they can wage war on their enemies with our money while their neighbors starve on the land they were pushed onto off their own land while the Khazarians take over the whole territory. That's sick. So, yeah. Speaking of sick, you will get attacked if you um, point out character flaws in a narcissist, they won't take it gracefully. I'll guarantee you that. Um, talk about flaming egos, you know, you'll find out and their flying monkeys will come after you too. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, it's not nothing new in my life. Not at all. I've uh, eliminated almost anybody that could have said that they were related to me. I have um, silenced them in my life. 
I had to, you know. It's not just, you know, a few people here or there that have personality disorders. It's it's really widespread. It's to the point where they're trying to make it acceptable. It really is, you know. Like people don't say, would you watch this next video? Now, for instance, and I hope she comes and checks out my video today maybe she will really nice lady um is a narcissist recovery counselor said you know real like i said really nice so pleasant to listen to watch my next video don't you mean would you watch my next video i'm sure it would probably help you no it sounded like watch excuse the hell right out of me but when the f to being polite when you're working for money in a profession when did not being polite to your customers go out the window it that's what they're trying to normalize it's not normal it's not nice you know if you um share videos in the future with people that will help them maybe pleasantly remind them that it would be a good idea to watch the next one and thank them even if you can't say thank you well i don't know if you're gonna tell somebody what to do that's that's sort of like a mind suggestible forceful type thing and saying instead of like I would say um, would you please realize all my videos are anti dark cabal <laughs> instead of you better realize it or just realize it you know that's just you know just do that that's just not it's and yeah everybody we do have our personality disorders every single one of us is it harming somebody that's that's the key right there is it unacceptable in society has it been deemed unaccept <laughs> unacceptable around the world with people that are in the psychology business you know so. i guess it depends on who your audience is you know because and and this is true very very true um people's manners aren't like they used to be we didn't used to say like me and my spouse <laughs> we would say my spouse and i or me and my friend no it's my friend and i what sounds more polite you know really now if you actually literally are trying to demean another human being or point out things in the world and and you're harsh about it like that because that is my style i don't play with these people and they don't like me for it so yeah ego driven yeah when all that matters is your image and the money you want to make you make an enemy out of me you know now if you're actually out there for the concern of mankind as woman and man um that that's a little bit different to maybe try and try and make a a living off of what what are you good for for people do you really help anybody or are you just for entertainment purposes? I mean, that that's a lot of what people are made out of today, you know.
I want to entertain the people with God in their heart that are speaking the same language as me. That's who I'm here for. Like, even if you don't watch me every day, you know that you can come to my channel and I'm going to tell you something probably new. I mean, the gas stove thing isn't new. And you probably heard about Pakistan, too. But, you know, just as far as what's going on in my day or whatever, just having an open conversation about everything, you know. Just, and speaking on that, I mean, I had somebody, you know, we reminded people on a Facebook group and on my Facebook page that um, we don't want drag queens around children. That's, it's simple. It's perverse. The child does not understand it. Has no place in or around children at all, you know. And this person came back, well, if this person is confused, and I'm like, are you deep into science, I asked this person, um, that you don't know that it's a myth about the Baphomet and what they're trying to push, and men and women are not half man and half woman? See, these people don't want to talk about the chromosomes. You know, so anyway, just want to ignore that, that they're entirely different in the set of humans. It's a fact. I, I, um, ran across one man well one person had wrote a joke like um all emotions are like feminine <laughs> like we have them all you know <clears throat> and a man that shows them is like maybe a weaker type male or something i don't really really but the this one gentleman put it really intelligently that a man should be able to control his emotions maybe better than a woman who is maybe, maybe weaker and sensitive in that area. And there's reasons with uh, females' hormones too that our emotions are different because if you're like, for instance, bleeding and having a really bad day, your body is throwing off and, um, you know, you, you aren't maybe functioning up to the top shelf on that day or something like that. Like you might snap at your spouse or your children or something where you normally wouldn't even do that, you know. Well, and they talk about like PMS or whatever. You know, that used to be a big, big joke. And then they tried to say that men have cycles. Well, they do in their lives. They do. They have a midlife um, change within their own physiology. You know, so that's a crisis <laughs> to them. <laughs> you know, but it it's not menopause. <laughs> you know. And your body literally does change, but you don't change into more of a man just because I'm older now and I understand how men are different than women. Really clear. <laughs> I'm, I'm super clear on that. I can define a woman in a lot of ways, the qualities of a woman that a man doesn't have, you know, and vice versa. Or a man probably shouldn't have, you know. Let's put it this way. If your kid's hurt and comes into the dad and needs, like, medical attention, you wouldn't expect that dad to start crying and leave the child helpless. 
or to start young, like whatever, like some bipolar maniac or something. But I mean, or, or the mother, you know, or you wouldn't expect, you wouldn't expect, but this is all too common for the woman to go to her husband and say, we, we need to kind of work on this here because the way it's going isn't um, conducive to our family lifestyle, you know, and to be met with um, feminine emotions thrown back at her instead of taking the stance as the man and saying, wow, I didn't look at it. That's why you're crying. I didn't understand that I had to be a little stronger in this area to guide you like that, you know, because men aren't really, most men are not really looking at human beings and their families as individual souls like that, that they have to care for. We got big problems in this world we need to start working on, you know, really, you know. It said we, you know. I've been put in a position where I had to exhibit strengths that are unnatural for the female body, you know. That's not a good thing. It's not pleasant at all. I'm I'm pretty angry at the people that did that to me. You know, I do forgive them, but the anger is still there. It's not going to go away. It's unnatural what happened to me. The things, I had so many things that was beyond weird and unnatural and It was 40 degrees out today, just beautiful. Melt some of that snow, and we do have rain coming in, and it's supposed to be, like, rainy tomorrow, too. So I don't know about the snow sport thing right now. <laughs> you know, I'll have to see on that one. Huh? I'm not into injuring myself so soonly after getting over all the ones that I just got over, you know. It's like. Oh, no thanks. I'd rather be called chicken shit than be called um, broken shit, <laughs> you know. It's, if I if it happens, it happens. I guess you know. I had paperwork I was going to do today. That's what I usually do on the weekends. I wasn't able to do it. And I was pretty pissed about it, but you know, it's it's something that you know to forgive people and they'll even say they're sorry or whatever. You know, but I'm not buying it if it's if it's a uh, um like an ongoing thing, you know. Yeah, I'm sorry, uh, what? It sounded like a recorder on repeat, you know. You get to where it's like, sorry's really mean nothing, you know. And sometimes tears, like crocodile tears, you'll feel sorry for the wrong person. Then they'll turn around and devour you, you know. It's like, I'm not falling for that again. No. Yeah, there was something else on my mind, too. I can't think of it right this second. Oh, well. I'll just hang with you for a while here and see what comes to mind.
Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. They're going to um, try and really, really push this coming. Um, the people that don't have the magic potion in us, they're going to say we're responsible for the people that are getting sick. But I don't know about any of you, but if I don't feel good, I don't go in public. I literally quit a job one time because my boss insisted that I come in when everybody else was sick. And I was sick too. And I worked in a school around children. And I was like, nah. And I changed the same school system. I went to work in some as a uh, paraprofessional counselor in a um, sheriff's ranch for use, troubled use. So, um, same school system, like I said. So I didn't really get demoted. I actually made more money by changing jobs. It's just that I really did like where I was at. I just couldn't stand the hypocrisy of the whole thing. And just because I could do a lot of things in that area that other people wouldn't or couldn't because of my abilities and different things I was being used for, <laughs> you know, I was like, yeah, no, goodbye. I did it for about six years, and then I was like, I couldn't stand it anymore. <clears throat> I really do feel better making up my mind that I wasn't going to wait for anybody that um, I felt really wasn't worthy to be a part of my life for waiting for them to step up and be worthy. When I finally closed the door on the remaining of it, you know, it's like I, I really do feel better about it. It's like even with my ex-sister-in-law, we were very, very close at one time. But when it boiled right down to the problems that were within that family, it was incest, mental illness, um, all kinds of things that I tried to work with with these people. And see, that's how, how when, when they're so skilled and, and it sounds sick to think that entire families and bloodlines would use the arts of deception against unsuspecting people but satan sent them my way i and i'm sure that it's so i could talk to the people right now that have gotten your heart that have had these type of things happen to you in your life or you walked into situations people that that profess god and people that seem to be upstanding in their communities with jobs like no other and appearances and all that. And then you find out what's under the surface and how it is within, you know, that's, that's a big deal. But when you think that you're, you're, like you finally met your soulmate and you finally met the one person that understands you um, better than anybody in the world, you know. And they might, they just might know you better than you know yourself when they see your weaknesses, when they're preying on you. They know you because they studied you for that, you know. They know just what's going to hurt you, you know, and how to bring you down or stop you. If you have a YouTube channel and you put out content that you know in the future is going to give you some type of, um, if not 
security or satisfaction or validation, at least uh, documentation of your life on a daily basis or however often you do that. They will try and stop you and sabotage you from what your desires are, especially if they don't include them. You know, you could have be like me. Absolutely no. I have romantic desires, but not for any human, you know. Aside from wanting to go out and dance and sing and hang around a bonfire, and, you know, without feeling or looking like a piece of meat, you know. If I could ever have that in my life, I would be flipping blessed, you know. Like I said, I thought that part would get a little easier when I got older, but then I found out that there's people that would use that part of my life as a weakness against me, but they will find out that it just turned out to be a strength for me. So, and that they will find out, because I'm stubborn like that. You're not going to stop me. Nobody is. If they can put their head down at night lying about me and trying to slander my name, and it is libel. All the people that are involved in that, when you lie about a person that has a profession and you are slandering them and say things that are not true, that's liable in a court of law and can be met with imprisonment. Did you know that? Just think about that. Before you so, um, let's put it this way. Am I liable by telling somebody the truth about their spouse? Are they liable about lying about me? It's a big difference. I mean, yeah, there's two separate camps, and neither one of them like each other. The only thing is, the people in the docile camp don't want to fight. But when you make us fight, we're going to slaughter you, slay you. And not just with our words. Probably not physically, but I'd be damned if I let somebody right in my face, my, my recent vicinity, do or say something to me that's going to harm me and you think you're going to get away with it. No, it's not going to happen. I just said today to somebody, the next time you do this, this is what I'm going to do. Only it's going to be way worse. And he said that it wasn't intentional. And I said, but mine will be. Mine will be premeditated what I do. And it will cause harm because I'm going to put a lot of thought into that. Physical harm? Mm. No more, no less than what I got and whatever the ramifications are. If people are going to do things to other people, you better be able to deal with the consequences. Because I'm not going to roll over and play dead for people anymore. Not even close. I'm going to live my best life. And to me, that does um, include exposing narcissism wherever I see it. I don't care. Is it sad? Yeah. Who wouldn't want everybody to love them? But that's not the way it is on this planet.
or maybe if you're like me, you might love them and need to teach them a lesson anyway. So that, that could be true in your heart. I could see that. Well, I'm going to get this uploaded. Those are the things that are on my mind today. Um, take care, everybody. Have a beautiful week. I love you, and I really appreciate you being here. I had a person come over and check out some of my videos from Super Day 44 live stream. I'm sorry I missed your name. Um, it was a few things long so I, I apologize today is not my um it's not like a good day I wouldn't be going in to take any type of test if I had to do any kind of academics right now it wouldn't be a good day so all right I'll talk to you soon peace and love from Pine City Minnesota USA have a good night or day wherever you're at talk to you soon